All right, we have all the intel we need. El Jefe has played Dictator for the last time, and it's time to bring him down. First, we need to open those dragon gates. Thanks to Ryuichi's special sushi rolls, the guards are out for the count. Sly, you'll need to gain access to the switches in their mouths. Next, we'll need to open the palace sword gate. However, the bridge is crawling with guards, so we'll need to create a diversion. Murray, you, Sly, and myself will need to distract the guards. Once they're occupied, Ryuichi can make his way under the bridge to the switch and open the gate. Once we get that gate open, there's nothing stopping us from taking the palace and putting El Jefe in his place. Viva la revolucion! Okay, Sly, use those rollers to open the dragon bow. You'll find the switches somewhere inside. And don't forget your armor. Something tells me those things have very bad breath. Cooper! Get them, you fools! Okay, you all know what to do. Time to kick some butt! My favorite time of the day! Let's do this.
Sorry, Cooper. You lose. I need to deliver this puny stick to a new owner. No! El Jefe is getting away! Don't worry, Ryuichi. Watch after these two. I'm gonna kick some tiger tail and get your cane back. <laughs> of my statue. Ha! <laughs> Looks like a real pigeon magnet. Ah! I hope you can fly like a pigeon, Cooper. Otherwise, you'll never catch me. We'll see about that. Magnificent likeness, isn't it, Cooper? Almost as handsome as the real thing. Huh. Yeah, looks almost big enough to contain your overinflated ego. <sighs> Take a nice long look. I want you to remember the one who crushed you. Looks to me like you've got nowhere left to run, El Jefe. Ready to face me now? <laughs> Sticking up for the family, eh, Cooper? Too bad you'll never see any of them again! <laughs> oh, Cooper! You've climbed so high! And now... <clears throat> you're gonna fall! <clears throat>
something, Cooper. You're actually starting to annoy me. Oh, don't worry. I have that effect on all cowardly crime lords. El Jefe. Hmm, isn't that Spanish for big baby? Ah! Enough of these stupid games! Tough guy. He sure runs away a lot. Scarier, El Jefe, or his lame jokes. Maybe if I had some cat, he could stop running away. <laughs> you got no chance! You ring tailed rat! I have to get Ryoichi's cane back. Why won't you quit?
do you like my chain style? El Jefe was defeated, disgraced, and delivered to the cops. But it was a hollow victory. I'd failed to get back Ryuichi's cane, and we still had no idea who was really behind this whole thing. One thing was for sure, it was somebody powerful enough to have his own private army. We contacted Dimitri for an update on the Thievius Raccoonus, and it looked like Tennessee Kid Cooper needed our help next. That meant we needed to travel back to the 1880s. Luckily, one of the goons that took Ryuichi's cane had dropped what looked like an old sheriff's badge. Bentley had been trying to figure out where it might be from, but now it all made sense. After sampling the badge, Bentley was able to calibrate the time machine. As we prepared to make the jump back to the Old West, I found myself wondering how Carmelita was doing. We arrived in the Wild West, looking for my ancestor, Tennessee Kid Cooper, a legendary outlaw whose bank robberies were some of the most daring in Cooper lore. When we arrived, it took some time to locate him, but we eventually found him in prison. His arrest was the handiwork of the local sheriff, who had celebrated by posting his own picture all over town. Talk about an ego. We needed to bust Tennessee out of jail. But after some furious calculations, Bentley determined that the best way to do that was from the inside. For the first time in my career, I was going to have to let the law catch me. This could be a real challenge. 